Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, I've got a film review. It's a film that um, I've wanted to watch for a while. I've had it a long time. Um, I thought I'd do a bit of a movie marathon with it. And uh, that film in question is Resident Evil. The very first one back from 2002. Now, Resident Evil is of course a massive game franchise. And back in 2002, many, many years ago, they decided to turn it into a film. Now... In all honesty, I love zombies, which you probably know by now. A lot of my film reviews do have zombie themes to them. Uh, so do my games. But Resident Evil, uh, starring Melia Jovovich, if that's how you say your name, uh, Michelle Rodriguez, Eric M Mabus, James Purefoy, Martin Cruz, and Colin Salmon. Just as the story is, there's a place called Raccoon City, and underneath that, there is a secret umbrella corporation. And in that corporation, they create a thing called a T-virus. Now, the T-virus reactivates any dead cells that you may have in your body. Great idea. However, obviously, things don't go great, as uh, any Resident Evil fan would know. T-virus is a very bad thing. Uh, there's always one guy who sets out to steal it. You know, it's worth millions and millions and millions. And, of course, the greedy bastard doesn't care who he tramples over. As long as he gets his millions and his couple of quid, he doesn't care. Resident Evil, the very first one, is pretty much where we see the introduction of the character Alice, played by Milia Jovovich. Now, Alice is in the games. Um, she is the badass kicking, uh, zombie killing uh, broad, really. Um, she kicks ass, she kills the zombies, um, and she does it pretty well. Uh, I'm not a fan of Milia Jovovich. Um, you know, I watch the Resident Evil films simply because she's in them, you know. Uh, it doesn't really bother me. I go for the film more than for the actress. Uh, if you like zombies, pretty cool. Graphics aren't great. Uh, I mean, it was made in 2002 on a $33 million budget, so it's not going to have the amazing graphics that we all know and love today. If you're a Resident Evil game fan, then you'll love this by all means. I mean, if you haven't watched it already, what are you doing? You should have seen it by now. We all see Alice um, in the story, and she's all confused, dazed. Nobody seems to know who they are. Um, that's kind of like the twist of the story. That's how we find out um, who the bad guy is, or the bad girl. So Alice mainly is there to discover who she is. The twist is towards the end of the film, you discover who uh, the infiltrator is um, of Umbrella. Umbrella is the sort of company that has their finger in every single pie. Uh, they are the leading manufacturer of everything you can think of. So if you've got a toy, for example, Umbrella could be a part of it. If you've got a TV, Umbrella could be a part of it. And uh, Umbrella just happened to be making a T-virus which reanimates dead cells. Uh, but really, Resident Evil, it's a great film. I enjoy it. It's got zombies in it. It's based on the games. Uh, cannot recommend it enough, especially if you're a Emilia Jovovich fan, then you'll love it. If you're a Michelle Rodriguez fan, then you will love this film as well. If you're a zombie-loving fan, you'll love it. It is the start of a massive movie franchise. Uh, if you've played the games, you'll love it. Can't recommend it enough, really. Um, really, Resident Evil is just the film that kickstarts the film franchise. The games did so well, obviously they made it into a film. But, uh, yeah, that was my review of Resident Evil. Cannot recommend it enough if you're a zombie fan and if you love the games with the same title, uh, then Resident Evil is definitely for you. Also guys, read the devoted links down below as per usual, wear the gear all the time, love it, can't recommend it enough. Use Toby WTD, gets your money off. Great, but guys, Resident Evil, cannot recommend it enough if you're a zombie fan, Millie Joe and Bitch fan. And if you, if you like the games with the same title, then this definitely is for you. Thanks for watching my review guys.